Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap 5 video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood what is Bootstrap. Then we understood how to download Bootstrap. Then we understood how to add Bootstrap to our website. Then we understood Bootstrap text formatting related classes. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Bootstrap text size related classes. We understand how to change the text size in Bootstrap guys. I minimize all these word documents. Here we have my dash website folder. I open it. Inside that we have default.html page. I right click on it. Say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page. Say open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome and title is set to bootstrap demo. Let's understand bootstrap text size related classes. First we have small class. It is used to display the text a little bit smaller in size guys. For example, here in the body section, I say opening p tag, closing p tag. Inside that I put the text paragraph text and then I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see paragraph text is displayed. I go back. I'm going to copy this line of code and paste down. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. Once again, paragraph text is displayed. I want to display this text little bit smaller in size. So simply what I do, I take help of the class called as small. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see this paragraph text is displayed smaller in size compared to this, right? Yes, that's the use of small class. Next we have lead class. It is used to display the text a little bit bigger in size guys. For example, if I take this paragraph, copy and paste two times, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see, we have two times paragraph text displayed. I want to display this paragraph text little bit bigger in size. So what I am going to do, I am going to take help of the class called as lead. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see that this paragraph text is displayed little bit bigger in size. So we can display the text little bit smaller. We can display the text little bit bigger in size. With that, we also have fs hash class. We have so many font size classes. Font size classes used to set different font size guys. For example, if I take this paragraph and paste here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we have 6 paragraphs here displayed. If I go and use the class called as fs font size 1 I copy that and paste here 1 2 3 4 5 and change the numbers 2 3 4 5 and 6 if I say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that these paragraph text are displayed in different text size right so fs1 is displaying the text in bigger size and um, fs6 is displaying the text in a normal size you can see that right so we have fs hash classes replace the hash with value 1 2 3 4 5 6 guys we can also display the text still more bigger in size we can make the text stand out with the help of display classes we have display classes which are used to display the text in different sizes guys. So let's see that. I am going to copy this code from here and paste down. And here I am going to say display, D-I-S-P-L-A-Y, display 1. I copy that and paste here display 2, display 3, display 4, display 5, display 6. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see these paragraph text are displayed bigger in size compared to the FS classes 
the display classes are going to display the text uh, bigger and they make the text stand out guys right so that's what uh, the text size related classes guys i strongly suggest you people to write down these classes and practice them and try to remember the way how the classes are going to work guys okay for this video tutorial this much is enough guys in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about bootstrap if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial